What's up, guys? Chasing Lane here with episode of 5 of Red vs. Blue in today's episode. We're back in League Action. We've reached the end of part, uh, end of January, so beginning of February. And, uh, well, things are looking a bit, a bit decent. I'm not going to lie, they're looking pretty decent. So, without any further ado, let's roll the intro, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll show you what's been happening. Streets are full of dreams and lies. Every corner has a story with a pint and cloud. So, because we've played this first season, there is quite a lot to catch up on. The one the last time we went was this game away at Brockton, the 3 0 win that you saw in the last episode. And you can see how many games we have played since then. We've been Abbey Holton United through 1 1, Saffron Walden away in the FA Bars, beaten 3 1, played Camel Laird away 3 0, Stockport Town away, uh, sorry, at home, we're playing today, by the way, 3 0. Uh, Stockport Town away in the uh, First Division Cup third round. We lost on penalties, unfortunately. Uh, we then played Tower Town. We beat them 6-4 in the FA Bars third round. Ashfield 2-1 in the league. Broylston 1-1 in the league. Brockton again 7-4 in the league. Al Sadia Town. I have no idea about the Al Sadia Town 3-1 in the league away. Stafford Town at home 3-2. A one-all draw against Winsford. A 6 0 win in the fourth round of the FA Bars at Stone. We then played Ecclesall, 3 1 in the league, 5 0 against Shield Heath, and then Asheville, 3 1 win at home. So it's been pretty rosy, as you can imagine. We are top of the league because uh, where else would we be with a record like that? We're eight points ahead of today's opponents who are Stockport Town, and uh, we've also got a game in hand over them. So we've been really rehearsing to almost sort of guarantee ourselves promotion with a win because, I mean, that would be an 11 point gap. It's probably almost unassailable with the form we're in. There has been a little bit of transfer news, though. I have brought in one player uh, just to bolster the squad a little bit. I want to have a real uh, a real player we own and a guy to be a mentor and a captain and a leader. I brought in Michael Rose. Uh, you know, football fans will recognise Mike Rose. It's a bit of a controversial signing because he was actually at one stage the captain of Manchester United's youth team. Played for Chester, for Hereford, two brothers that went out of business. Probably not his fault. Uh, Yeovil, then Cheltenham, then Stuntort, Stockport, Norwich, played for Swindon, of course. Played very well for Swindon, I wish we kept him a bit longer. Joyce Colchester, then Rochdale, Morecambe, Macclesfield, and Warrington was his last club. Been out of the game for a couple of years, but apparently he was hanging around to try and find a new club. He fell under the age of 41 with us. Obviously, his physical and not great. He's probably the area player where you'd off the bench from all the night, more than starting. But with those mentors at this level, you cannot knock him. He's going to be a very good mentor for some young talent as we bring him in. And uh, hopefully we can get him to stay beyond this season. We've got a contract until the end of the year, but we can, we can hopefully bring him in or keep him in just to try and develop him as a guy who can help us. I think he probably wants to be a coach when he's done. He does. Uh, so we might even look at doing, in, doing that for him when the time comes. But let's get the red half of Manchester and uh, see how that's been going on. So on the red side, our last game there was Walton and Hersham, of course, in the last episode with the penalty win. We then played Mast United away in the league and lost 1-0. Beat Whitby 2-0 in the Integra League Cup. Then we played Ashton United, a 2-1 win. Hyde, we played 3-0 win in the league. What if we lost a force on the FA Trophy 2-0? Then we lost to Morpeth 1-0. A one-all draw led to penalty, but we beat Ashington in the Integra League Cup third round. We then played Atherton College for a 0 0 draw, works up for a 3 3 draw, Stafford for a 2 0 win, then Whitby for a 1 0 loss, Radcliffe for a 1 0 draw, Warrington Brother, they beat 3 1, followed by a 1 0 draw at Ilkston. We played Loughborough Dynamos and lost on penalties in the fourth round of the League Cup. Then we played Matlock and uh, lost 1 0, followed by Geisley, who we've just beaten 1 0. And the tail over in the red side of Manchester, not quite as rosy. We're sitting sit just outside the playoff places, which is not really where we want to be. But such is life. Uh, we're, we're not far. Away. We're not probably able to hit the automatic motion spot. But it's certainly we can sneak back into the uh, back into the playoff place if we can get a good run of form together. In terms of today's opponents, we are playing Marine, and uh, Marine are currently sitting in 11th in the table, 11 points behind us. So, should be a pretty good game. We'll, uh, we'll get into the team selections now, and hopefully, results will come, maybe. 
So the FC United team is actually playing looks like this. We've got Patrick Boys in goal. San Yixia Hain, who was the uh, Hong Kong player that we have brought in. Uh, I said we brought in. He was already set up the sideboard. That actually doesn't look too awful. He's a centre-half by trade. We're playing all right back today. We've got Charlie Oba and Matty Downing as the centre-half. Matty Downing will complete his conversion to centre-half. And it looks like he could be good here. Uh, we've got Melis Bouchard playing on the left-hand side because he's been like, unhappy with the amount of football he's been getting since Massey Dowling sucked down in sign. Uh, we've got Griffiths and Munro, as always, as the holding midfielders. We've got Barrow on the right wing. We've got Callum Ribbon moving into a more attacking midfielder. Kind of brawl. Jay Fitzmartin, of course, is the inside forward of DJ Canton, Star Trek, and Stryker. Captain Curtis Jones drops the bench with Dumbaya, with Callaghan, with Ennis, and with Wood. You can see here. Just a little tweet we've made on a couple of roles and one position for the tactic we can play. Just just wanted to see how it would work. So let's do that and see how that shakes out for us. So here we are in Rossett Park at Marween, which uh, I think is on the Wirral. Off top head, it is somewhere in that kind of great to Liverpool area. We're saying we could be able to play off play for the win. Again, absolutely no one cares. So we trust, we trust him to make a difference and make us proud. Hopefully this little tactical change won't cost us today. But we'll see how that goes. We get what he's got on the pitch here. We can see that uh, Marina gone with seven on the back, which is a sign that they probably are a little bit afraid of us. And uh, we're, of course, just going to try and attack them from the off, get some goals out of this game. And hopefully something special will happen because, uh, you know, we need to get our four back on the track, start pushing back up early. I wasn't expecting us to be trading Whitby at this stage, it must be said. I thought it would be us at Macclesfield, honestly, challenging for the top spots, but such is life. We've changed our white socks today with this Marina wearing black ones. That's a fun little tidbit for you. Either way, we're underway, so we're going to encourage the boys and get ourselves, hopefully, a good result today. Free kick, and it's Douglas for Marie doing big into the box, headed away by Charlie Nero. Good stuff. Wardle picks up the ball, goes back to Sass. Sass with a chance to move it forward, but gives sideways to Ferguson, Ferguson to Butler, Butler back to Ferguson, back to Doyle, at the back to Rowlett. We really should have. We should have intercepted that one, but that's life. Uh, Wardle picks up the ball now back to Doyle. Doyle with a chance for a ball forward. One would hope goes toward instead. Then they're playing sideways football. That doesn't bode well for us. As Sinclair Smith breaks through into the box across for Solomon. And Sol Solomon, so did they almost named him twice. He scores the first goal for, uh, for Marine. And uh, we are... Not starting very well, it's got to be said. We've sort of lost our ability to apparently play the ball around, which is not something that's super enseeding me. I've got to be honest, babe, we're, we're letting Curtis Jones in the back. We're talking about this it wasn't quite as good as Manny Downing, but maybe we are lacking Curtis Jones in the back. I mean, it's costing us. Either way, we're uh, back underway. We're going to try and encourage the boys, and uh, hopefully, Jesus, what was that tackle? That was quite widely a straight red. And uh, thankfully, DJ Campton storage isn't badly hurt from that. But we've got a mad advantage now. So hopefully, we can push on and get ourselves uh, a goal to get back into this. And then Bournes will win the game. All goes back to Spittle or uh, for Marina to Wardle. Wardle, the boy at the top. We can win this in here. We don't. Solomon for Douglas. Douglas to Sass. Sass is probably brought Alice down on the inside. side. Douglas again. Back to Sass. To come on, you've given him a gap there. It's come off the woodwork, but Josh Hines heads it away, and we've sort of done ourselves there, haven't we? If there was some poor decision making going on here, where whoever this was, uh, that looks like I was in Griffiths, has completely lost Douglas. It's gone off the crossbar, and uh, Hines has made the header, but Douglas should never have had that space. And uh, that's kind of a concern. We should be picking that up. Our front three and Barra are doing nothing to help this situation. Rashad has been begging for football and doesn't seem to want to do anything. So we're going to berate the team. Because uh, if he's not going to actually put in a performance, we'll take him off. That's that's a really simple decision to make, quite friendly. So that's half time. You're into the break 2 0 down against the team. Although us in the league with 10 men. I think that warrants a you've been terrible so far, sort it out. Kyle Ribbon seems to lose confidence. We'll see how much confidence he loses once I've yelled at him. But Peter Sart, frankly, none of these guys have been good enough. We're going to bring out these ones who are underperforming. Give him a little pointy finger and just say, I'm not happy with your performance today. And, uh, well, Kyle Ribbon still lost confidence, but 
it's okay that we can send Paul any time this place. That's not a drama for me. And hopefully we can get ourselves back into this game and get a result from it. So I went out with the ball. I made some substitutions just trying to get some life back into the game. Curtis Jones on a centre half, Downing moving to a left back. We brought Paul Ennis for uh, Charlie Griffin because he didn't seem to want to play in as Griffiths picked up the ball there. And Will Callaghan to come on at the left hand side with Fitz Martin because he was not in this game at all. He's playing more of a winger, but so hopefully he'll be, be providing stuff as Sanfi Yi San goes back to Griffiths to count and start back to San San across for Ennis. Ennis with a pop for rain that's stunned the goalkeeper's hands. Looking a bit more lowly, I've got Ennis playing as a box to box midfielder just because I felt like that might get a bit more out of him. We'll see how it goes. Down and across, cross, looking to head of Jones, doesn't find it, but he gets the ball back and goes nowhere with that, apparently. Let's, uh, let's break the boys been really trying to fire it up to try and do something in the second half, but this, this has been unacceptable. So I've switched to an out of the box 4 2 3 1 counter attack just because I'm very much hoping that will get us something out of this game. But I've thrown now with Downing. I'm probably going to switch that to being an attacking mentality. Monroe to Downing. Downing across back to Monroe. And Monroe to Griffiths. Griffiths with a pop just over the bar. He's wasted it. And we do need to get a goal. Otherwise, this really has been an embarrassing trip to, uh, to scale side for us. We've done very little to help ourselves out, to be honest, in this game. And honestly, this has been largely a ball in. We shouldn't be playing this badly. It's Sandy again throws it away literally to Solomon. Downing luckily has picked up the loose ball into Callaghan, back to Downing, back to Callaghan. Callaghan in for counter Sorry if he's offside, but surely referee's flagged. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's disappointing. Disappointing on all counts, really, because we've got the hand of it. We shouldn't be able to get, be being caught offside at this stage. We don't need to take that kind of risk. Down in with a corner. Can we get a goal here to get us back into it? Not one of it straight into the keeper's hands like that. And it looks like this one's going to fall to be a 2 0 loss unless they score again here. Hutchison with a big ball downfield. And uh, well, no one was really waiting to win it back. Jones has picked it up. He needs to get the ball forward very quickly. Downing now. Downing will look for a ball down the line, would hope. Doesn't. Goes inside it to Ennis. Ennis to Monroe. Monroe. Across the field, gives it away to Sats. What a rubbish pass. One honestly awful pass that was. And now Solomon is through. And we've, we've given that away entirely. If that had gone in, it would have been entirely our own fault. And we've got to get better than this. We can't keep dropping points the way we are. It's something that's not working. Something's very rotten here in the state of, of Denmark. And uh, we don't know what that is, but... Uh, yeah, Robinson now clean through, and that's off the woodwork, to be honest. Boys only made a save, but it looked like a job that would work to me. Now, Barrow's on the ball. Can we hit on a counter-attack it? Early ball to Camerton Sturridge would have been great there, but we didn't get it. And now we go into injury time. And frankly, this has been one of the worst performances I've ever seen at a team or football one idea. And we've somehow lost 2-0 to 10 men. I, I think I'd far from be but that with all this fair. Players who seem anxious, honestly, probably don't want to be here. So that's uh, that's a thing for another time. I would really love for Manchester, nothing tactically out of the ordinary for us here. We've got Hagey Bamberg starting in goal. Jordan Carroll, Alfie, Alfie Marriott, Paul McTone, and Jonah Campus Green has pushed his way in as left back because uh, Brennan, he's been in a really good form. Uh, Jeff Abbey playing as the holding midfielder behind Shorter as feet so forth during to the end of the season and on ridiculous form. 22 games, 8 goals so far. I think he's a fair few at six. Maybe I should put an assist. Let's put an assist column in there. Yeah, let's put an assist column in there. Just to uh just so we can see what's going on. I can find it. If I can find it, yeah, you know, we go. You know, it should be that one. Beautiful. So you can see uh Jordan Carroll's had seven assists by the Rose Vita has an eleven assists, six goals for Jordan Carroll so far and the Paul McCurn. I mean, so going forward, got Ali Eiderman, who's had six goals and fourteen assists this season. Xiao Silva as the playmaker. 16 goals, 7 assists this season. Harry Colville, 4 goals, 16 assists this season. And up top, Ethan Morgan, 22 goals and 6 assists this season. So this attacking force really has been on fire for us this season. On the bench, we've got James Tebow, Lewis Lubman, Michael Rhodes will probably make his debut from the bench, Charlie Aitken and Jordan Summerley. So a pretty strong lineup. And we'll see how they do. 
So hopefully we'll have better luck on our short, short trip to Stockport than we did with uh, our trip to the Wirral. And, uh, well, we're going to have a look to make a different, make this powerful. But they're not recommendation. We have got an over, we've got an assistant manager, I bought insured robot. FOSCs, by the way, at least this time. So we can go and get a result. Looks like Stockport, Stockport, uh, the regular Stockport County must be at home, but there's Stockport Town that have not pulled the rail today. Don't even know the game takes that into account. It's a real thing in non league, in non league football, where a local league club is at home, you get really bad attendances, but they have to be playing away while you're at home. Fans who don't want to travel will come to the local clubs. And so it's an interesting little, uh, Thing in lower league football, I know. I, I've said before, I, I try to watch up the team when I can, despite being a Swindon fan. And if United are at home, the crowds will be 150, and if they're away, the crowds can easily be six, seven hundred. It's, uh, it's a real split, and uh, you know, yeah. if that's being replicated in the game, that's a really nice little uh, little thing to to put in there. But I doubt they saw that saw it through that much, to be honest. As Campos Green is early throwing to Rosfield, so our danger man into Colville, who's also a danger man, he's going to have a shot. Put it wide, but we don't have a shot. Uh, I shouldn't be claiming on our danger man. Everyone is the danger man in this main road team. It's been ridiculous. And I re- I'm certainly worried about how I'm going to build the team for the division high end without these players, because obviously they're all on low. Um, we can't keep many of them because I've tried, and frankly, they all want ridiculous wages if they'll talk to us at all. As Idemir comes in and gives the ball away to Wilder, wins it back to nice stuff, back to Silver, who back to goal to close, but finds Colville who puts it away. And we're not looking bad, though. We're not looking too shabby. We've got ourselves a goal just before the nine minute mark. And this could be an absolute battering that we give to Stockport Town. And what I guess is sort of another village derby as well. And, um, well, we've done pretty well we've done pretty well to get a goal then i thought silver for sure was in in a bit of a a bit of a nightmare situation with his back to those two defenders but he found a way out that's what the great players do even at this level and uh well we go one nil up free kick out for stock bought and uh vincent is going to take it he will be looking for a ball into the box but he hit ball in the box he didn't even aim for where all the players were but yeah was going out with it somehow vincent's back on it and he's going to have a pop for a rage, and that's gone in. I mean, the free kick was terrible, but the finish was absolutely sublime. And so, I don't know, it's a $16 this evening. You can see why they are second in the table when they can turn a game and all of that. But, uh, yeah, it was it was a, a really weird free kick attempt. You know, he wouldn't be tasting my free kicks after that, I'll be honest. But, uh, you know, they'd managed to get a goal from the end of it. So I guess the set piece routine has worked in an unintended way. But we now need to get ourselves back in front, which is really the big question of whether we can do that. We've uh, we've encouraged the boys and cancel the throw in, which may not have been the ideal because we could have been good from it. And now we've got another free kick against us at four stop. Or it's Richardson is going to take it. Hopefully he's better than his teammate. He is, but not by much. Have Jordan Carroll is tiring out, which is a real concern because he's our danger man from set pieces. Maybe a chance for someone else to shine, though, with him need to come off at some stage probably early in the second half. And, uh, well, we can have a look at what we do with Morgan at top as well, because, frankly, he's not performing. And uh, may need to come off as well as Burrow now picks up a ball. Gives it away to Silver. Gal Silver is too good to be given up all in that position. Can he find an indecent across the box to Colville off the uh, off the goalkeeper? And Rizvitso is in there to put it away. His 10th goal of the season. Uh, Shorter is it so so that he's with us next season. He's going to be a real kind of linchpin of what we're building for next season. The way he's playing, I think he's going to be a real danger man in the division. Where he's off the defender, by the way, not the goalkeeper. This moves so quick and it could work out. He looks into a wind from that too, poor fella. Uh, but we are back in the lead just before half time. It's a really good place for us to be. Very unhappy with the uh, with the fact that I might have to take Gordon Carroll off because he is. Probably my favourite player in this team. And uh, he, he, I asked, I tried to end the side, he wanted £15,000 a year, and I can offer six. So that wasn't going to happen, unfortunately. Uh, the money just isn't there, but even at this level, that's, that's sort of life. But it just sometimes isn't there, which can tell everyone to uh, keep going. Because, uh, you know, no one, the team has played well enough that we can carry like that Ethan Morgan having a bad day, and we can find a way to get up all two of them in a good position. He's not, he's struggling because he's not had the ball, I think, rather than struggling because he's not done anything with the ball. 
as Elston gets across him. We should have gone ahead to that. McComa as the captain and uh, as our best defender by distance. Should be dealing with that, but, you know, didn't get there. We didn't concede. I guess we'll take the, the small win. Going now for stop I have made some changes. Michael Rose is on for his debut at uh, defensive midfield as the ball's filled stream to Dan- Del Damber at the back. Lewis Lidwell has come on at right back for Jordan Carroll because he was tiring. And uh, we've brought Charlie 18 up top because, frankly, things weren't doing very well so, for, for our strike there. So we thought we'd, uh, we'd change things up, see where that gets us. Apparently, he doesn't get the ball forward or keep possession. Vincent puts a big ball over the top of McLaughlin. McLaughlin moves back to Richardson. Richardson inside. Davidson across the box to Elston. Luckily, our defenders are kind of there to shepherd him away. Probably got a tackle in. As Vincent cheats for Rave, he's done it again. That guy outside the box is filth. And he may be going on a shortlist. He may be going on a shortlist of players to sign. If he, get, he won't be taking any free kicks. But he only got on a short list of players to sign if he can, uh, if he can bang it in far side of the box like that. Because that's something that can make very big use of along the side, side with Jitso for next season. And, uh, well, they're back on terms. We do need our players to kind of get it together a little bit and start really becoming more threatening going forward. I don't know why this isn't working for us. Well, we're having such a bad day, the office on both sides of Manchester. Down has got a free kick, goes to his fit soon. Hopefully, he can start playing something good here. Yelf Silva, who is knackered, by the way, but is our playmaker. And that's a very tired pass. Vincent picks the ball back up. Luckily, not close enough to our goal to have a pop. Campos Green wins it back for his fit. So, look for a ball to cut again. It's a, it's a lazy pass for his fit. So, he should be doing better than that with Ben Lamb. But Blockman on the ball cuts back to Richardson to Turnbull, who has a pop. And started so very well and it's gone so very badly <laughs> as the game has progressed and this is our first loss in a while and softball won't close of course we'll close that gap up it was eight points at the start of the game it's now going to be five and could be the game for over us for this very good season so far away we're we'll fire up the boys. Hopefully, they can get equalizer just to save our tears a little bit. We just squad Michael Rose has had a very good debut because he should be. He should be too good. For, even at 41, he should be far too good to be playing at this level. As Rich Vitt sort of finds ultimate cone over the top. If he for Colville, head, ball goes across the box. Finson heads it to Campos. And uh, well, we came into, we got into the box, but now they're hit us on the counter again. McLaughlin coming out as all our defenders are in the attacking heart of the field. McLaughlin with a big ball forward from McGowan, who we can only hope is offside. Danborough is uh, a safety anyway, was offside, thankfully. But uh, yeah, we're looking a little bit like we don't know what we're doing right now. And that's troubling. It's troubling looking like we don't know what we're doing as we get into injury time. And uh, Looks like the ideas have got our defense has kind of let us down a lot here. And uh, yeah, we, we'll, we'll have a it might not be a real player. We'll have a look at James Vincent, just see what's going on with him. Uh, he would be an excellent signing, but he's also 34. But we'll have you know, I've signed a player who's uh, not necessarily how's that? I've got to turn the scouting like off. I don't put shortlist for now, just so I don't, I have, I don't forget about him. And uh, we'll try to run the scout at until thirteen thousand pound a year. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm a bit turnbull as well. This one we're here. This one we've got a chance to look at some players. Thirty body. We've been done by a team of old men. He's the manager as well. Which explains why he stepped up and did the job in the time of need, I guess. But the rest of him, and uh, we'll wrap that up, I guess, because that was not good enough today. So I'm actually should be winning. Everyone agrees with us on that one, and well. This is we're at two loss episode. Hopefully that won't happen too often. I think I want to go back to the tactics that we were using previously with FC United. And I think that this one is just a case of we're going to call it a bad day at the office for now. I hope we can start fighting our way back through. That would be ideal. Of course, you players are trying to get in if we can see. Uh, I'm not going to work out exactly where we're going to come back because that's a bit of uh, a mystery. I think... What we now? We've gone from October to February. I think they might just come in for the last game of the season. I assume on the same day, 27th of April there. 
And we've got 20... Yeah, we'll come back on the 27th of April for the last games of the season. I want to fly through its first season because there's not a lot that happens in the first season of this level. It's you either get grown or you don't. You know, if I can arrest this four, we'll be fine. I can get fired. We're just going to... We're just, we're just going to make it our mission to take down SEO and Manchester with uh, with Bay Road. That's my plan. But, you know, we'll try and turn things around and get ourselves in a better condition for next season because we can actually sort of build our own team next season once of these contracts and stuff have expired, which should be very nice. But anyway, uh, thank you much for watching. I've always been Chasing Langley. Uh, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave the comments down below. It all really helps the channel out. It really helps me out. I hope you know, you're watching. Give me your thoughts on, are we going at too quick a pace? Should we just slow it down? Let me know. Um, there's things I'm going to show you because I did say oh, we teach things about how we do stuff at this level. If there are things while we're still at this level you'd like me to show you, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll dedicate a little bit of an episode to it because, you know, this, this level can be trickier than people think. Anyway, with that being said, I've uh, thanks for watching. I have been chasing Lanley. Until next time, stay safe. But that, have a good one.